Nutcracker is a holiday story. Um, it happens around Christmas time. It's about a little girl named Clara who receives the present of a Nutcracker from her uncle, Drosselmeyer, who is a magician. So, you know, there's a lot of trouble and mystery about to happen just right there. She falls asleep and has a dream and the Nutcracker battles a giant rat and takes her to this kingdom that he rules over and she, you know, it's a little girl's dream. So she experiences this land full of sweets and divertisements and she gets to sit on the throne and it's all for her. Um, and then at the end of it, uh, she's, she's back at her bed and she still has the Nutcracker. So it's just, it's just like a magical holiday story. <laughs> Because the season is so long, it gives us a chance to give the younger members of the company chances to perform in roles, um, not to, well, just to challenge them, to, to further their careers both uh, artistically, to see what they, what they make out of it themselves, and also for us to be able to coach and nurture younger, younger dancers into lead roles such as the Snow Queen and the Sugar Plums, the uh, Mirletons. It's, it's a wonderful chance for the, for the young ones to grow and develop. I was nine uh, my first year in the Nutcracker and I was Clara. That was my first role. Um, which is which was huge um, and, and nerve-wracking but I loved every second of it and I think that it set me up to enjoy and want to tell stories because that's Clara's biggest job is to be in awe and act it you know make it seem real I really love dancing the sugar plum uh, it's funny, every year it comes around, uh, we all laugh that, wow, the sugar plum's really hard. The sugar plum fairy is one of those roles that is so hard, and you do it over and over again, and it doesn't really get much easier year after year. And it used to be a very nerve-wracking role for me, but, uh, you know, it's a role that I've always wanted to dance ever since I, I first saw the Nutcracker, and so I think it has a special, a special meaning for me. Um, I just, you know, I love the tutu, and, um, it's just, I don't know, it's a challenging role, but I think that every little girl, you know, can relate to being the Sugar Plum Fairy or wants to be the Sugar Plum Fairy, and yeah, I've always loved that role. It's technically challenging, uh, musicality is really important. Everything that you get in a classical principal role is in Sugar Plum Fairy, um, but you also have a mainly, like, a family-oriented audience that don't necessarily you know, that's not necessarily enough by itself for them. You also have to be ethereal and like help create this sort of like magical environment and land and make them love you, you know, make children love you even though you're doing this like really hard choreography where really you just don't want to have to make someone love you while you're doing it. <laughs> I think for, for children, The Nutcracker is a very, very good introduction into the theatre. It's uh, very joyful, light-hearted. It gives you a sense of joy of dance. And I think that is important for, to encourage any young, any young child who would like to, to start to dance. I think The Nutcracker is a good, uh, a good beginner. You go home singing tunes from it. You often see the little ones in the foyer afterwards imitating what they've uh, seen. There are mem memorable moments for, for, small, for small children. Every single house can have different traditions. They can celebrate Christmas or not celebrate it, or you know, holidays look so different for every family nowadays, um, especially in the United States. So I think that it has become something that is a tradition and I think that feels nice to people to like have something that everyone is kind of in community together like oh we're gonna go see the Nutcracker I feel like it's one of the few things that is for everyone.